going to go for a long walk to a new um, place. Actually, look there in the background, this guy's doing all this work on this uh, hodgepodge of wires. God knows how he can differentiate uh, which is which. But uh, they have good internet, so they're doing something right. Uh, I'm sure it isn't um, fiber internet, but it's still pretty good for what it is. So I've got to go all the way um, back to the uh, where past where the other restaurant was I went the other day and going even further away than that to see if I can finally get these uh, pancakes there's, there's a, a restaurant up the road here that's uh, it's got a, a five star rating it's only four reviews on Google but um, it's uh, it's in district three in an area near where I stayed once and it's definitely more a local area and uh, presumably wouldn't be uh, have the prices hiked up like the tourist level so we'll just see how we go hopefully it's okay uh, just pace myself though because I can get pretty hot walking around Saigon uh, although it doesn't feel particularly hot day to day but I'll just uh, like I say I'll pace myself I'll turn into a, a sweaty sweaty blob if I don't Monday morning, pretty busy as usual. Even quiet, even on a Sunday, there's a bit of traffic. So, uh, and I did the right thing last night. I uh, I only went to the little bar, and that's the only bar I went to. Uh, chatted to Ian, and uh, bought her a lady drink. And uh, the total bill was about two seventy, which isn't too bad, really. Um, more than half of that is actually the lady drink because that's 140 so the happy hour drinks didn't set me back too much I think I only had about five or six at the most and that's I don't have a hangover today I feel good so it's there's something to be learned from that so I just don't know but I think I was there for about one and a half hour so you know it was it was a nice break to get out of the place get out of the room and, and I was a bit worried they were going to get noise last night from the uh, the venue just down the back and uh, sounded like they were just uh, doing a little bit of jamming and what have you and luckily it didn't last very long but I I then went downstairs and talked to the uh, to the reception guy and basically the bottom line is because it's owned by Vietz they can't do anything about it there's a place called Rouge Bar which they also had issues with noise and that was fine they could do something because it was foreign owned but if it's Vietnamese owned place, it appears they've got no power whatsoever. To me, it's absurd. You know, you're running a hotel, you're there first, and you get some interloper coming in and and, uh, and having a, a relatively late night venue, which is to 1 a.m. 1 1 on Saturday night is relatively late here. Uh, wouldn't be the same in Thailand, of course, but they go to be a little earlier here. There are late night venues, but that's still getting on the late side for Viet's and uh, they can do nothing to, to protect their own business because I said to them look if it continues on every night I'll just have to uh, cancel my my reservation when I come back and stay somewhere else I could stay at Saigon Pink 3 it's not as nice a hotel but you know noise is a real pain you know you can't of course the other solution is when you become a night owl and stay up later and maybe even go to that venue I don't so that's the other option but still I don't know Hopefully it can sort itself out. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be every night. They've done it occasionally. I suppose I can put up with it, but I'll just uh, monitor the situation. I sure hope I'm in the wrong street because I went to uh, 198, which is the address of this place in uh, Vo Van Tan, and uh, it wasn't a restaurant. And there was actually a building site right next to it, so that was a bit of a worry. So. Uh, Things do change in this city so quickly, but you'd hope that Google would have updated your information. So, I don't know, I couldn't find a street sign to confirm in the right street, so... But this is, this should be the street. But I may, may be wrong. Let's just double check. If it is the street, it's a bummer, because I don't know what's happened to the street sign. Oh, I walked past the street sign. There is a street sign here. I just went straight past the bloody net. No. Oh, I'm in the right street. The damn place has gone by the wayside. Oh, always a risk here. Always.
always a risk. How, what a bummer. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, this is the right street, just here. Uh, yeah, that is definitely the right street. And unfortunately, this cafe that was so highly recommended has gone... Maybe moved, I don't know, but there's no indication. It didn't look like a restaurant. I walked in there. And uh, it's gone kaput. I do have backups, so I don't want to go back to the old one I usually go to, but uh, oh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do now. I, think, I also want to get some exercise, so I've achieved that goal. I just like to try different things out, and that was so highly recommended. It looked like it had been around for ages too, but that's the trouble. You get people moving in, they want higher rents or they want to develop a place, and these businesses get squeezed out all the time. And that's another case of that, I'd say. Wouldn't be a genius to work that out. Uh, disappointing though, very disappointing. Just really looking forward to uh, sampling the uh, Vietnamese pancakes. We've got stacks of time to do it still, but I'll have to. Uh, get, there's another place that's a, that's a fair way out as well. Risk that as well. But I mean, what I could do is use my grab account and just get a, a lift there. That's how much exercise I think I need. Yep. Bluff my way through you have to do it this over here it's about the only way to get around Let's return to the tried and true i thought there was another one of those pancake places on the way down here but i couldn't find it that's uh i don't know i thought these were prawns but i'm not sure now but i got that just for something different to the um to the pork so uh see what it's like and that's really good nice and cold cold iced tea love it yeah well that was um that was good actually I, I think they were prawns, but they were in some sort of a batter or something. They tasted quite nice. Probably like 7,000, it was quite good. Quite impressed with that. And uh, yeah, it was uh, better than just having the uh, pork. You get a little tired of just eating the pork, even though it's very nice. Uh, variety is the spice of life, as I say. So yeah, better off with that. So. Um, yeah, I was surprised when she gave me so much change. 70 is quite reasonable for that meal. So very, very happy with that. I'm just inside the bin chart. Is there 145 bogey in? Yeah, it's, um, the prices are excellent. The uh, side ones are 20,000 and uh, the uh, Main um, pork dish, like vegetables and noodles, is uh, 40. Can't complain about that. So it's got a good reputation, this place. So hopefully, it lives up to it. Uh, I'm lucky, I've got, obviously, got here at a reasonably quiet time. Uh, I have heard of people having to queue up outside to get in. So they open at 12 30, but it's only like 2 o'clock, 2 30 or something. Pretty quiet time for me. That's how you. It's okay. Also, upstairs and the table. Here's the meal. Accoutrements there. Do keep on the chili, I think. Give it a go. Lots of greens, fairly healthy, which is what I want. That's good. See what it tastes like. The hardiest meal I've had, but you can't knock the price anyway it's a snack type thing uh, you, we'd probably if you want had a bit of an appetite i think you'd need to uh, order more noodles oh very nice the pork was excellent there wasn't that much of it but it wasn't so uh, it was small and tasty more like a japanese type of serve i guess uh, big on quantity but more on the quality so. but i found it quite nice with the with the greens and a uh, cheap Saigon for 20,000, that's very good. So, yeah, I don't normally drink during the day, but I thought, what the hell? Throw portion to the wind when I'm the end. And the guy serving was very nice, very nice guy. So, um, they haven't got an extensive menu though, so I don't know if I'd be going back there unless I can find something else to eat. I have to check out the menu again, maybe online. It's just a paper menu and you actually fill in the uh, the boxes, keep it simple. Uh, well. 
Yeah, they're keeping it very simple actually, which I guess makes sense. But a yeah, big bar here, there's no doubt this place will be rocking later on today. And as I'll be just around the corner doing the uh, the meetup. People from different uh, backgrounds. I think I'm uh, maybe the only native English speaker there tonight. Uh, see how that goes. Yeah, the ubiquitous uh, sunglass sellers. Haven't been super pushy this trip. Haven't spent much time down here though. They're much more prevalent uh, down here than uh, in the centre of the city. But uh, this is backpack essential. Yeah. There's a few people out there. Oh, they're already on the Go, 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 go. Yeah, I can see it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This, bit, this whole area has been built up substantially. That place was never there in the past. It's quite large. Uh, it's lost a little bit of its charm without the, the small places along here. Anyway, I've tried that place. I can tick that one off the box. I'm still going to get the pancakes though. That's got to be done. And I do know the fastest way to get to both the end, so that's good too. Fairly quiet this time of day. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.